hello friends in this video we are going to make this react native kind of strip you can you can see that i'm able to strip this one and you can click on this so whatever date you are going to select it will going to encircle that one right so which current current date you are going to select it disable the past date so something like this you can add right so this is how we can do that okay so let's begin the tutorial how we are going to use the react native strip okay calendar strip calendar right so let's go to the so basically you will set up all the basic requirements like uh, this one for the project you need to add npx react native in it whatever the app name do you want to add after this to uh, after that to np after that npm install you have to do so first one you need to add is this one npm install react native calendar strip then after that moment dot moment js you need to install after this we have app.js file right so calendar strip from the react native calendar strip we are going to add here we have the blacklist dates also you can also uh, blacklist which dates you want to enable or disable so i'm going to in, if i'm going to enable it and you can see that the blacklist dates so let me refresh it and uh, where it is let me go to the app.js and here we need to enable the dates blacklist so which dates you are going to blacklist so one one of the day is gonna be alternate day is gonna be blacklisted so you can see that we have disabled i have written out the code here you can see that the black blacklisted moment dot add one days one day disabled total four days enabled okay only four days are gonna be enabled rest of the dates are not going to be enabled right so you can maintain the logic like uh, which dates you want to enable or disable okay after this we have a calendar strip so these are all the parameters like border duration border weight border height calendar header style calendar color date numbers and highlight number date which color yellow all these parameters you can uh, add into it icon container dates blacklist disable date so all of these are the properties that we can use it and set it okay so by default it has those two so many features so we are going to uh, let's check the other properties of the react native calendar strip what, what are they going to provide you so rest of the documentation you are going to learn it from here uh, we, we have set up the basic examples right for this one part so you can see that you can also make it scrollable the reflector to support the scroll bar and reduce internal changes calendar day okay simply out of the box example styling you can style this is the basic that we are using so number of days in the week scrollable dates are scrollable if true or false so if i'm going to use this one scrollable is there any scrollable over here mm, no scrollable So let's see you can see that I can scroll now right this is scrollable okay so you can scroll able like this you can use this event scrollable right okay so this is how we can add the scrollable at the moment also scroll over paging starting time ending selected date on date select so we on week change so you can maintain all of these uh, events accordingly right marks date date whitelist date blacklist mark dates you do those dates you want to mark that right so you can use the date whitelist and return the date which dates you are going to whitelist and blacklist dates okay and it also it will disappear mark mark dates array format mark dates callbacks right so you can you, here we have the rest of the days container style weekend day any you can set it all of the things like custom days date style you can also make so this is very useful very uh, you can see that the how much downloads it has it has this much kind of downloads for this uh, react native calendar strip so it's uh, if you need any kind uh, like such kind of 
uh, you can say requirement is there so you can use such kind of things like on the click of any of the date some certain listing is gonna be appearing so that way you can manage the things right so how many deliveries are on that date how many deliveries of this current date completed date something on the event of the date selected you want to perform some actions so in that case react native calendar strip is very useful on that part right so you can use it okay any issue in that just let me know in the comment section i will explain thank you so much for watching this video have a great day please do like share and comment